I suppose I should start with a little about myself. I'm 20 years old, and I work part-time at a large ice skating facility consisting of two NHL-sized hockey rinks. What happened occurred just several days ago on Friday night. I was working with a kid I enjoy working with but rarely get to see as he plays hockey and is almost always traveling. We'll call him Joe. This particular Friday night was very busy as there was a large wreck and one of the high school teams on the interstate was an hour and a half late. So a game that would have been over at around 10 finally finished at around 1130. The obnoxious, take high school hockey way too seriously parents finally cleared out trampling all over our freshly swept and mopped floor. As the celebratory yelps, screams, whiny complaints, and the occasional curses of the winning and losing team's fans were slowly fading out of the door, and they left a wake of filth and trash. Trudging my sore feet through it, Joe and I went back to the closet and grabbed two brooms and a dustpan. Ah, a dustpan. Possibly one of the only inanimate objects I have empathy for. For the mountain of shit, crushed chips, popcorn, peanuts. A dustpan for overturned plastic cups of ketchup and cheese dip. A dustpan for enough spilt water, soda, coffee, and hot chocolate to fill the Zamboni. A dustpan for thousands of tiny paper, hockey stick shaped confetti, and millions of sparkling specks of glitter in the winning school's colors. Joe and I took a deep breath, as if to inhale any spare motivation in the surrounding air. We marched in and got in the zone. We swept and mopped and swept some more until finally the floor was clean and the bleachers were once again a shiny silver color. The only thing left to do was to head to the far corner of the now nearly pitch black ice rink. It's the corner where one of the team's locker rooms was located. It's the farthest corner of not only the rink, but the whole 100,000 square foot facility. It's quite the trek at the end of a nine hour shift. As it was the last item on our to-do list, Joe and I were given a boost of energy in anticipation of clocking out and going home for the night. Joe opened up the door to the ice and proceeded to casually slide around, dancing his way down to the far door nearest the locker room. I walked parallel to him, watching him just a few feet below me from behind the panels of scuffed up plexiglass. In an attempt to play along with him, I pulled up my phone for a candid action shot of him dancing on the ice. Watching him while also watching my step along the path illuminated only by the glow of bright red and pale orange colors of the lights of the scoreboard. I thought to myself that this would be a great time to test out my nighttime setting on the camera of my new phone. I switched it on and stopped to hold my camera steady as I took a picture of him. I continued walking across the bleachers. Unable to see him right away in the picture, I buried my face in my phone slowly being able to make out his dark silhouette on the ice. Still looking at the picture, I rounded the corner as he opened the door, joining me again. Laughing to myself while explaining my failed attempt to catch him dancing, I noticed something strange. Holy fuck, I said breathlessly as I double-tapped the picture to zoom in on it. Huh? Joe asked, almost uninterested. We swear like it's nothing after we close, like we are two bottles of soda that had been shaken for eight hours and someone finally unscrewed the lid. It's no surprise that he thought nothing of my vocabulary. Holy fuck. What, dude? He interrupted. 
My tone must have been enough to grab his curiosity. Look! I showed him the photo. What am I even looking at? He asked. Look! I repeated. Is that? I think so, I said. Now sitting on one of the cracked old wooden benches of the locker room, he took two steps back and looked out the door down the same path that I traveled to reach the current location. He came back and grabbed my phone to angle it better towards his face. Holding it as close to his face as he could while still keeping it in focus, he said, Let's go the fuck home. Without even needing to agree, I got up, leaving the still unclean locker room. I opened the same door to the rink that he came off on and quickly stepped on. He was right behind me, confirmed by the echoing sound of the door smashing into place, followed by the metal-on-metal sound of the latch locking behind him. Basically, walking as fast as we could on the fresh sheet of slippery ice, we crossed the rink. We both walked back up to the front, with a small discussion of how creeped out we were, and one last look at the photo on my phone, we clocked out and went home. Between tonight and last Friday, I have been back to that same corner several times, day and night. I have seen nothing. I took more pictures, all displaying nothing out of the ordinary as well. What creeps me out the most is that whatever I took a picture of, I walked right past it. I never saw or felt anything. I'm not a skeptic. I'm not religious. I don't believe in ghosts or spirits. But I'll tell you one thing. I no longer enjoy being at that facility after dark.